Hey everyone, welcome to a new On One short clip video. My name is Brian Matias, and in this video, I'm gonna be using On One Photo Raw 2018, specifically the develop module, to correct the brightness and contrast of a landscape photo. So with this photo, this was taken straight out of camera, no edits were made to it, and uh, the first thing you should notice is that there is a bit of a blue tint, and that's because I was using a neutral density and circular polarizer filter. So it had a little bit of a blue tint over here. So in terms of correcting brightness and contrast, the first thing you want to do is correct for color. So again, we're in develop, and over here under tone and color, I'm going to select the dropper to get a custom white balance. And the way I'm going to do that is just click on an area here that's normally gray. And you can see how it got rid of that color cast, and if we just do a preview, you see in the water how it's going from blue to more of a neutral color. That's really important. The next thing I'm gonna do is just open up the exposure just a little bit. I don't want to do too much, and I'm looking at my histogram here just to make sure that I don't start clipping or blowing out highlights. So let's open up the exposure just a little bit, right around here. And everything's looking good still so far. If I click on the disclosure triangles, You'll see here if there are any areas where shadows are being clipped or highlights are blowing out, uh, they'll appear with these overlays. So here there's a little bit of highlight uh, being clipped and I'm gonna fix that with a, a local adjustment brush. So we'll start that now. I'm gonna turn off the warnings and what I'm gonna do is go to local adjustments. So the first thing I wanna do is actually open up the shadows before I do anything else. So the way that I do that is I go to the setting or the slider that I want to adjust. In this case, like I said, I want to open up shadows. Then I want to make sure that my adjustment brush, the masking brush is selected, which it is. And I'm going to start just drawing on areas here that are dark that I want to bring out. And so you can see that it's doing a really nice job of just locally opening up those shadows, uh, which is kind of, you know, what I'm going for is evening out the exposure. And if we toggle that layer, you can see how it's doing a really nice job of kind of opening up those shadows. And the cool thing is that I can further refine that. I can keep opening those shadows up more, making them even darker. So I'm gonna open them up. I'm also gonna open up the exposure just a tiny bit on those areas. Now I'm gonna go and address the highlights. So I'm gonna add a layer. And this time I'm going to take the highlight slider. I'm gonna bring it to the left. Just like before with the shadows, I'm just gonna draw on these kind of brighter areas here. And again, just like before, I can further refine if I wanna keep bringing those highlights down, drop the exposure a little bit. And so far we're looking pretty good. So watch again, here's the, what we started with. Here's what we got now. Really nice job just kind of cleaning things up. Now there's one more thing that I wanna do as far as local adjustments, and that's to bring out the greens, the moss over here and the lichen on the rock. So there's a really cool way to do this. It's new and on one photo raw 2018, and it's basically using a color range mask. So the first thing that I do is I wanna get that mask selected. To do that, I'm gonna click on the little mask icon, which opens up the mask tools. Then I'm gonna select the color range button and then take the color dropper and sample one of these colors right here. Now, let's click on view to see the mask. And those, this is the way the mask works. Anywhere that you see white, that's where whatever effect we apply will be added to the photo. Anywhere that's black, that effect will not be present. So I can further refine this color range selection with this slider. So watch, if I go to the right, see how it eventually just applies everywhere. But watch, as I go to the left, all I want are just kind of the areas where there is that lichen. You can see the outline of it, which is really awesome. I mean, this is pretty much impossible to do normally. Here we have, uh, with just a little slider, we're able to really refine that mask. So now if I turn the view off and I go to exposure, see how only that area is being affected. So I'm going to bring out the uh, exposure a little bit. I'm going to add some contrast, open the highlights a little bit, and then also I'm going to warm up that uh, the green over there, and I'm also going to add a little bit of vibrance. So watch if I turn this layer off. See how it does a really nice job of just bringing out those greens. And so with the local adjustments done, here I can just add a little bit more contrast, and then I'm going to go and under the detail, I'm going to add a little bit of detail to the photo and a little bit of sharpening. And so now what we have is an evenly exposed photo, we have really rich highlights and rich shadows 
it has a really nice contrast boost to it and the colors are just popping. And so again, one last time, let's look at the original. So you see how it's just very flat, very dark, and there's that color cast. But then with a combination of local adjustments and global adjustments in On One Photo Raw 2018, we're able to get a very well exposed and kind of color popping photo for your landscapes. I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Thanks a lot, everyone. Thank <music> you.